integrity, I will be sending a copy of this letter and yours plus all other correspondents starting with the offer letter to your chairman dated November 7, 2012. I'll be sending them all to the prime minister and other key government officials that are interested in the preservation of the attraction and not just the 10 acre piece of real estate. So make sure we, we make sure you understand now before we come down here. This letter is the 16th of July last year. And Mr. Little White, Little White said to protect his integrity. He must send a copy of the letter and the entire file to the minister responsible. Who is that? The Prime Minister of Jamaica. Well, you can draw your own conclusions. But the Prime Minister has something to answer, don't you think so? Yes. Taking all of us for a bunch of fools, right? Right. All right, one final quotation from Mr. Lenny Little right now. This transaction begs, begs for another scandal. When the public learns that the NHD purchased the property for hundreds of millions of dollars, and has now chosen to dismantle the attraction. He goes on, the site is a built heritage attraction which was architecturally designed to house this specific concept. It has limited usage otherwise. You know how the Prime Minister come and tell us they buy it for developed housing. They buy it as a property, as land. They didn't buy it as an attraction. This man is saying something completely different. And this man is also saying that the concept of the attraction was supported by the Prime Minister and other senior ministers of government. These statements by the former owner of Otameni has left no doubt that the purchase of Otameni as an ongoing business was a premeditated and calculated endeavor and indeed is consistent with the NHD's internal memorandum of September 1 of this year, which addressed the issue of reopening the attraction as the outer many experience to commence in January of 2015. My brothers and sisters, this is an example of how the country is being run. This entire sordid affair has turned out to be nothing but a web of deception. Oh, this tangled web we weave when first we practice to deceive. There are more questions than answers. And we are going to table more in the house because we must get the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. This is a shame and a scandal and shows poor governance, gross mismanagement, lack of transparency and cronyism at the highest level. The JLP and many people across this land have lost confidence in the integrity of this administration of the PNP. In this sordid affair, in this sordid affair, the Prime Minister is culpable and accountable. The Minister of Finance cannot wash his hands like Pilate. He too is accountable. And the Board of Directors of the National Housing Trust should resign with immediate effect.